Wow, this is so fun. And look at the weather in Finland. Just gorgeous. <laughs> okay, this is an exciting morning to say the least. So I'm buying a friend from my Tenere 700. Today we're gonna get uh, Honda CRF 300L. It's a chilly morning, minus four Celsius. I have my gear with me here, uh, right there. And hopefully I'll be fine. I have to drive like 140, 150. I don't know how long the trip is using off-road, but uh, from the dealer back to Rahe where I live at the moment. So it's gonna be an interesting day. Follow along, let's go get the bike. Taas. <laughs> tuota, ensi kertaa näen pyörä, niin totta kai se pitää ottaa viliin. Pitkä päivä on tiepussa kyllä sinä ajamista. Mä oon levän nappeja täältä, kun mä en näe niitä. Oho. Oh, nice. Hei muutako, kiitoksia kyytistäni. <laughs> no, varo. Itti. Can't see anything from the mirrors. <laughs> but I can't seem to find my blinkers. Oh shit. <laughs> Where's the blinker? There it is. Nice. <laughs> I don't, it's a new bike and I have these hoods on my hands so I can't find the controls. <laughs> so it's difficult to even use my blinkers. Okay, first impressions of the Honda CRF 300L. 22 model. I just bought this brand spanking new. The meter had zero kilometers on it. Right now it has 18. If you want a review of the bike, you should watch another video, but this is just the first impressions. I normally ride a Tenere 700, so keep that in mind. How is it, dri how is it driving here in Finland, in this cold weather, on these icy roads, on this bike? So first things that I notice is that uh, clutch action is uh, a lot more, a lot lighter than Tenere. It's a joy to use, absolutely. You can just press it with one finger, but I'm using two because, as we all know, two is better. <laughs> but yeah, it feels so nice. The biting point of the clutch and everything feels so comfortable and so normal. There's no getting used to this bike. Using the clutch, using the it, it, transmission feels perfectly natural. And uh, this might be a controversial thing to say, but I would say that this feels... The transmission and clutch on this feels are way better than Tenere. The Tenere transmission has this tendency of uh, jerking around and it's, it's, uh, it's like hammering in the, in the gears. But this Honda is uh, really smooth. You don't even notice the changes. You don't feel any clonking or clanking or hear any noises. It's buttery smooth. Smooth right out of, out of the box. Feels fantastic. Let's get this out of the way. The brake line is directly in the middle of the, of the console. So it is a little bit annoying. Ho, 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 ho. 
<laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> oh, this is so nimble. Sixth gear. The bike feels fantastic. I don't know what to say. It's so nimble and so light. When you get used to a heavy bike like the Tenere 700, it's so nice to ride one of these. You get so much confidence doing anything with the, with the bike because you don't have to worry that you get it stuck or you can't recover yourself. Yeah, I can notice that the suspension is really soft. And the suspension didn't bottom out. I am leaning to leaning forwards as, as I should be. So so far it feels feels okay actually. Better than I was expecting. I have uh, turned the preload fully closed. So that's what pretty much any driver should do immediately when they get the bike. Just twist the preload fully closed. It's gonna help a little bit, but I suspect m many people that do the reviews don't even do that. They just say that the suspension is shit and they don't even try to stiffen it. But there is a preload adjuster on the 300L and 300 Rally that you should probably close. I weigh 82 kilograms at the moment without gear on, so I'm probably well above 90. And this casual riding with this suspension is really nice because it's so soft and comfortable. Of course, if I'm gonna do something more extreme, it's gonna bottom out and it's gonna cause problems. But right now, I'm, I like it. So if you're planning just to do this adventure style riding and the OEM suspension is probably fine if you are about my weight or, or less. So what's come, what comes to the power? Uh, riding in the winter time and I suspect riding in the forest is pretty much the same thing. You don't, you don't really need all that much. The engine feels very happy jacking along on all our RPMs. So I don't know if I would need anything more, uh, especially because I'm a pretty much a beginner so this is a perfect starter bike and I would say I was expecting less power than it's actually delivering it feels way better than than I was expecting like I'm in fourth gear doing 40 kilometers an hour and if I turn the throttle it just goes very happy Happy feeling engine. Oh yeah, I like it. Really nice. But yeah, so far so good. <laughs> Considering this is the first time I ride on ice. <laughs> I love it. It's so fantastic. Of course, when I say that I'm gonna fall down. <laughs> I don't trust them in the corners, but Oh, there's so much grip actually. I didn't bring my goggles. That's a mistake. <laughs> but oh yeah, this is so much fun. Woo! <laughs> oh yes. So nice finally off the tarmac and this is fantastic Much fun. 
on a motorcycle <laughs> and it's on this 300L small little bike wow this is so much fun <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say this dual sport community just got a new rider I never want to stop this is fantastic except that I'm running wide <laughs> that's fine I don't have the confidence to ride it like I do on gravel yet I have to feel these tires out a little bit when there's grooves on the road on the ice it's going all over the place but that's just because I don't have the balls to th twist the throttle balls to the walls or nothing oh finally some snow <laughs> this feels so light it's just skipping along over everything with the Tenere I would be afraid like literally afraid in here <laughs> so much fun Oh, the pecs are better in this bike than they are on the Tenere. On the Tenere, it's, uh, the pec is way, way smaller, I think. Of course, it helps that the bike is so much more narrow between your legs. Is my helmet open? It actually is. I'm gonna take a break here and take a couple of photos. Sorry, it's so difficult to concentrate what you're saying when you're just riding here and trying to stay upright Whew, wow this is so fun and look at the weather in Finland just gorgeous <laughs> oh just noticed that's why I'm always thinking that my blinker is on these are constantly on these blinkers that's kind of nice actually because you get a lot more presence on the road you people notice you better that's kind of nice actually I like it I like this bike look at it it's beautiful that's a nice looking bike I don't care what you say I don't care what you drive a Harley Davidson nah look at this a small little Honda so much fun so much smiles to be had oh yes this is my favorite hobby <laughs> Finland and driving this bike okay let's get, take a break and cool off the bike because you I have read that you should do that Dr <laughs> driving the first thousand kilometers you should cool off the bike every now and then and let it l really cool off because there might be hot spots in the in the engine really nice let's look at the bike a little bit there's passenger food bags. I'm probably gonna take these off immediately because nobody's driving this two up. At least me. These are twisting. The brake lever is not twisting and looks a little cheap. But it's nice that the cylinder is here and the reservoir is right next to it. I think like a racing bikes do this. Looks really cool. I am getting the AXP uh, protection underneath and it's protecting the linkage as well and uh, everything I'm, I have ordered is still coming so I'm gonna do some install videos later so you should subscribe if you want to see that and if you want to see more content like this riding here in Finland oh yes so so clean and so nice oh yeah the transmission lever the gear lever is actually twisting this is the OEM so that's kind of nice I don't have to change that and the pegs are twisting and these are big enough I think they feel fantastic oh there is a chain guard here a guide I thought th this would be not stock but apparently it is I ordered an 
or some other brand. I don't remember what it was. Maybe AXP. But okay, it looks better, so I'm probably gonna swap it out anyway. My GPS is running low on battery, so I might have some issues with that later today. But wow, I'm having so much fun. I never thought I would have this much fun here. I thought I would be petrified. But the tires are so good that I can actually keep some kind of a pace here from the from the moment I start. I'm gonna get better, of course. Some people have been saying that the throttle is jerky with the stock ECU, but I'm not, I'm not noticing that. I think this is more smooth than the Tenere as well. When you come off the throttle, there's no you can't really feel the point when it's stopping the fueling it's not like this abrupt jerk that it that it does it's very smooth and when you go back on the throttle it's also very smooth I can show you let's take the third gear and off the throttle very smooth on the throttle it doesn't jerk me around I can sit here in perfect comfort it's not jerky at all so I don't know what those people are saying maybe ju I just haven't have never like felt a really smooth throttle response or, or fueling but uh, I have no complaints about this okay let's take a little bit more speed with one hand <laughs> these by the way these socks on top of my handlebars are I think they are Sinisalo socks made here in Finland. They're very nice, but one thing that I notice is that um, when I take my hand off them, it's very hard to put the hand back. So it's a little bit dangerous on speed because you can't find your clutch very easily if you are taking your hand off the clutch pouch. Okay, we're doing 80. And the bike is very happy pulling in, in this speed, even with the highest gear. So yeah, that's the fueling part. At least my initial impression is that it's very nice. I have no complaints. But I did 80, it felt nice, so I'm happy. That's pretty much all I'm expecting from this bike. Yeah, maybe I, I, I can't really comment on the suspension yet because... Well, this is not a review, so I guess I can say anything I want. But if I bounce it around, it feels so soft like this. If I just keep bouncing it up and down. It feels really soft. But I suspect some people, or even most people buying this bike, like the comfort that it's giving me. I have this annoying strap that is bouncing on my helmet. It's probably on the sound as well, so I have to do something about it. But yeah, I think some people might like the, like the softness. Because it's really, really comfortable. Driving like this here, 80, when there's no, not that many bounces or jumps. It's like driving an S-Class Mercedes. It actually is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so soft. Oh shit. I still... Uh, okay, let's talk about the brakes. The brakes are not very good. I can't... Well, I really, really have to press hard to get it to lock up with these tires. And the brake pr pressure is not very... It's very numb. You don't really feel any point where it starts to really bite in down hard. It feels really soft and uh, spongy. At least my initial impression is that the brakes are... At in front it probably could be, could be better. But I do suspect that the braking feel is improved drastically if you change the brake lines to braided ones. These uh, rubber brake lines are not the best. So definitely if you do a lot of uh, high speed riding on public roads with this bike, maybe you should do something about the brakes. When I'm doing 80, I can really feel that the wind protection is missing. I can feel the wind against my 
middle section that gives my chest and my stomach a lot more than I can on, den on the Tenere. Of course that is to be expected. Very nice view, but I'm losing daylight fast. Actually the sun is going down in 10 minutes and after that it's starting to get dark very fast. So we need to have some kind of a closing thoughts on this bike. My expectation was, if I put it in numbers, my expectation was like 5 out of 10. Let's be honest. After watching all the reviews online, I thought that this bike would be like a bit of a moped, a bit of a no-go. You have to upgrade everything to ride it. <laughs> but for me, this is actually 8 out of 10. If you upgrade the suspension and do an ECU and exhaust, and of course you can get the le more from the bike. Probably the suspension is going to make the biggest difference, but I don't think you necessarily have to do anything to this bike. For exploring, for this kind of a casual riding that I'm doing, the bike feels fantastic. Even as a Tenere driver, I don't want the speed here. It is just a problem because it increases the weight. This engine is very torquey. It pulls down low and uh, there's plenty of power in this circumstance. 